Lord is just a liar. Just a Robin Moore. Just don't do no lies. Just is gonna bring you numbers. Just for the mess of my music. On the Breakfast Club. I know they know the difference. Keep it a stack. Okay, so in UK news. UK news. And UK news. Yes. Kate Middleton seen for the first time after surgery, allegedly. This is what they claim. Yep, reports have been coming out that Kate has been seen um, for the first time, which is, like, I, I still believe it's a lie because there are no pictures. It's just hearsay, like, okay, she's been seen, she's been seen. I just think this is another PR stunt because since I reported this, so mm. many people have been looking for in and out the country. <laughs> really? Yes, we got wow. people over here like, oh, my God, since Jess told us about it, mm -hmm. now we want to know where she at. You're doing you good. Know? You're doing yes. good out there. Because we're trying to figure out they over there and over here, is this another Princess Diana situation? We don't want that. They're saying that she was seen, but we ain't got no pictures yet. But it's believed that Prince William got a little mistress. Okay? Yeah, that's mm. what I went during my digging. That's what I found out as well. Her name is Sarah Rose Hanbury. You got names. Yes. Well, excuse me. I'm sorry. Yes, and I have connects. Um, Sarah Rose Hanbury. She is the Marchioness of Chelum Deli. I the what? Yeah. Okay. The Marchioness of Chelum Deli. Okay. So the mistress has a baby, right? And it's rumored that that baby might be Prince William baby. The baby name is Iris. Yes. Yes. She has other children as well, but this one they're trying to say that it may be Prince William's baby. So Prince William's married to Kate Middleton. Absolutely. So is it really a mistress if you can't find your wife? Or if you hiding her, that's another situation. Mm. In 2019, Kate asked William about this alleged affair with Rose because, let me tell you something, Rose was in the circle. Mm. Rose used to, she's like a good, good friend of the royals. And she is also a wife to one of William's old friends, David Rock Savage. That's one of his friends, yeah. So he asked her, he laughed it off. Like, <laughs> girl, no, it's nothing to it. Mm -hmm. When she asked him, when when Kate asked William about it in 2019, and um, and it, like we still have yet to see the uh, to see them together, the mm -hmm. mistress and Will, but we know what um, Rose look like, mm -hmm. and we know what Kate look like. Got you. And we haven't seen Kate. They put a little picture up under that headline, but that 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 picture. Something telling me that she took that before she even went in for her surgery, December of last year. So, you know, uh, I mean, of January, this earlier this year. Because she not seen with nobody. They just found another picture that she probably never posted, mm -hmm. and they put it of her, and that's crazy. And then also in the in the Photoshop picture of um, Kate and the three kids mm -hmm. from Mother's Day over there in UK, mm -hmm. her ring wasn't on. That's what I forgot to tell y'all. Uh, her ring wasn't the, on. Her you know, ring wasn't on. Ever, so it, ever since you've been doing these UK news stories, it's been a lot of sightings of Kate Middleton in Baltimore. I promise you Kate Middleton is not in the Whole Foods in Baltimore, y'all. No, I promise you. And I promise you nobody said that, and I'm not playing. This is not a joke. It's not a joke. Take so, it serious. Yeah. I'm just telling you what yeah, I've I don't heard. Care. I don't know. I'm too tired to be playing today. <laughs> now, moving on. Man in wheelchair goes on a stabbing spree in Queens. I seen that. Uh, yeah. I seen that. Now. I know disrespect. Yeah, I know. I know. The suspect is a man in a wheelchair, like I said, and we have the report from CBS New York. Police called to 54th Street near 31st Avenue in Woodside around 1230 Saturday for reports of two people stabbed. Investigators say the suspect is a man in a wheelchair. The second victim, a 69-year-old woman, suffered far more serious injuries and remains at Elmhurst Hospital. Police are questioning him, trying to understand his state of mind. Now a woman is hospitalized with serious injuries to her face and torso. And tonight, police have not yet identified the man that they are questioning. So far, no word on potential criminal charges. So I'm thinking like, nobody caught this nigga, right? Mm -hmm. But then I was doing some, oh, hold up. Hello? Okay, thank you. Yes, he is in custody. Oh, they just caught him. Okay. Absolutely. Who just they, called you? They, Who just called you? I can't she reveal got it. Sources. But I'm just she saying, got yeah, yeah, they actually did catch him. They, mm -hmm. they, they been caught him, but they just called me because I told, you know, I talked to these people and told them I was going to report the story. Yep, yep. And that was the only report that I had heard from well, CBS New York that he was not identified. Well, it's but not like the, he was on the run. But it, no, no, they caught him going up a ramp. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. So, and the, the crazy thing is, I'm like, all right, if you were the second person, how do you see him rolling up on you to, to stab you? That's and what you I was thinking. But because she's a 69 not year old woman. Exactly. She's 69 yeah. years old, and you're not suspecting somebody in the wheelchair to but do something. But what about the like other two? I want y'all to see you to stab, see the stab yeah. one. You think I'm he out. just stabbed him in a row? Like you just think he just went down the line <laughs> on a one block? Shank, shank, shank. You think, shank, come shank, on, shank. That's not probably, I know that's not what happened. 
Well, you he don't just, know. You don't just, know what's happening. Knock it off. That's like if somebody came in his room and stabbed one of us. You're like, oh shoot. That's. I'm sure he didn't just go down the block stabbing. But if, people. If, if we see him <laughs> stab you, me and Jess running. Like he ain't gonna catch you. Not thinking. Yeah, this not, not. That's not how this happened. I'm oh, sure okay. these were different incidents at different times. Oh, he just randomly just stabbing people throughout the day. Just yes, and probably okay. not, he unsuspecting. He walking up on you with a Starbucks cup in his wheelchair. He's not walking anywhere. Well, he's, he's not walking anywhere. He's rolling up on you. He's rolling. I didn't say he was homeless. You said Starbucks. Okay, Starbucks. I'm thinking. He's rolling. He's rolling up on you. You know what I mean? You're not thinking nothing of it. This guy in a wheelchair. Okay. Well, he is in custody, and I hope he serves a lot of time, because that's crazy. I don't care if his legs work or not. You don't roll up on nobody and stab them. I agree. Okay. Now, real quick, NAACP Image Award winners. I'm okay. going to run down a few. We had some amazing people win. Our color won last night. Outstanding actress in a motion, pip, uh, in a motion picture. Fantasia won for Color Purple. Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Motion Picture. Taraji P. Henson, she won. Outstanding Comedy Series, Abby, I mean Abbott Elementary, that was the winner. Outstanding Actor in a Comedy Series, Mike Epps for the Upshaws, congratulations. Outstanding Actress in a Comedy Series, Quinta Brunson, Abbott Elementary. Outstanding actor in a drama series, Damson Idris in Snowfall. Congratulations. Outstanding host in a talk or news information uh, show, Shari Shepard. She won. Congratulations. Outstanding host in a reality, reality competition, game show, variety. DC Young Fly for cel uh, Celebrity Squares. Drop a clues bar for my brother. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Salute to DC. Yes. Outstanding reality program, reality competitional game show, Wild and Out One. Drop a clues bar for my family. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Big Mac in the building also. Um, outstanding children's program, Gracie's Corner One. Yo, drop a clues bar for the kids. I love that. Oh, oh, and real quick. Mm -hmm. Outstanding music video, visual album. Sensational Chris Brown featuring DeVito and LoJ. Y'all clap it up for Chris Brown. He won. Salute Legacy. Too. Yes. And then another one. Whoa. Outstanding duo, group, or collaboration. Sierra featuring who? Chris Brown. How we roll. Legacy. How we roll. You love you a Chris now. I definitely do. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And um, don't forget, y'all, he dropped the tour dates and everything. He'll be going on tour. All right. So, and that it. is just with the mess. Yes. Now, when we come back, Teslin Figaro will be joining us, so we'll kick it with her next. So don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.